atmospherically it's extraordinary. It does create the atmosphere of Central Europe very much uh, in its intrigue and its gossip and its sordidness. It, 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 it's not all that sort of mouchoir acting and uh, snuff and lorgnettes and all that nonsense that you usually see in 18th century films done by Hollywood. It's got a kind of reality about it, a smell and a taste. Um, and I think all that's very, very good. And uh, it's got a roughness about it, and a, which I like a lot. Um, I'm not so mad about my writing uh, about, uh, for it. I think that I uh, made it in some ways too simple, too simple-minded. I'm, I'm sorry that the end didn't deal well enough with the, the idea of a man imprisoned in his own fame. I wish we dealt with that more because it does seem to me that it, 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 that would speak very pertinently, particularly to America, which is a country where you can be a celebrity for being a celebrity. Uh, it, 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 this seems to me uh, that it could be a healthy reproof of that attitude. But I don't want to dwell on the negative things. I think the positive things of the film are its guts, its gutsiness, its brightness, and its respect for the music. It's, you know, that up to that time, classical music is usually large as it is in, uh, used as it is in Elvira Madigan, where the same bars are repeated over and over and over and over again. And we made it a principle that we would play whole stretches of music, and not just Eine kleine Nachtmusik or um, the G minor symphony, but the, the, the less popular things, uh, concertos and masses, and the C minor mass, for example, is used. And... Uh, a whole seven minutes of the statue scene in Don Giovanni. I mean, uh, Milos deeply respected the music, and that's terrific.